I got this Anycubic Cobra 2 Pro from geekbuying.com or you can buy it today for only 279 euros. The manufacturer claims it can reach 500 mm per second print speed at 20k mm per square second acceleration. The printer has an automatic bed leveling, direct drive extruder, automatic vibration compensation, and it can be controlled from a phone app. I have spent more than 230 hours right now printing with this machine. First of all, it is really fast and it can print fast in high quality. For instance, this 3D Benchy boat. It took only 14 minutes to print it and it was a really great quality one at that speed. Mechanical parts came out accurate and well functioning. Here are a few more prints I absolutely love. And while I made some really nice prints, I also had some quite annoying issues. Before we talk about the issues, I have to mention that I was completely blown away by the Anycubic support team. Anytime I submit a question or ticket to them, they replied the same day, which is unseen in my experience dealing with the 3D printer manufacturers. The first issue was printer freezing up during the long prints. So the this just happened, it's not responding and it stopped after 31 hours or so and I have no idea what to do now. What a waste, that's all that's left from my filament, from one kilogram, around 100 grams. I managed to print and glue the nose separately later, but that has nearly turned into a dog disaster. All right, this is not going well. It's printing well. And there is nothing I can do. After several iterations on the printer's firmware, the issue is now gone. I managed to print this fantastic moonlight that took forever, even with the fast printer. Also the Batman, the Dragon, and a few other lengthy prints. The second issue I had was layer sheets even worse than freezing as it was simply ruining the prints. An Ecubic support team sent me a new X-axis motor, replacement of which fixed the layer shift issue. And I also had filament run out, sensor fail. Actually it was a firmware fail as the sensor was reporting the missing filament, just the firmware was doing nothing. With the latest firmware update the issue is gone and now it finally stops the prints when I ran out of material. With all the issues fixed, the machine is now printing again just fine. All in all, it's not the greatest printer of all times. There is no LED lights on the printer or the print head, no enclosure for ABS or other temperature demanding prints, a bit weird filament holder arm, and you have to do some assembly when you first receive it. But at the same time, for only 279 euros, you get fast and high quality prints, great auto leveling system, direct drive extruder that also lets you print flexible filaments and a great customer support if something doesn't work out. Is that the right printer for you? That's your call. But if you decide to buy it, there is a product link and a discount code in the description below.